guys what's going on it's chamber here quick little video for you guys today i'm gonna show you guys how you can flash your gpu's bios to get more performance out of it now if you're on a lower end to lower end to medium range card this may not be as helpful but if you're on a higher end to a medium medium to high end card this will definitely help you now my card that i have right now is an evga xc ultra 2080 ti that's what i'm gonna be using for this video before we do anything, I just want to say, no matter what happens, if something happens to your card, not my fault, it's your fault. It's all I want to say. Don't try and blame me because you followed my guide. All right, so let's start with trying to find a BIOS. So actually, you're going to want a couple, you're going to want one thing right here, GPU-Z. So this is what we're actually going to use to see if what you're going to flash is going to help. So let me just open up my GPU-Z. And... I'll show you what we're talking about. So once you go to GPU-Z, you're going to want to hit Advanced, General, NVIDIA BIOS. Now, so default, something like this. So if you're on like a 2080 Ti, 3080, it's just something like 350 to 400 typically. I'm on a Kingpin BIOS right now, so that's why it says 2000. Don't be like, why is it showing 2000? This is weird. No, it's perfectly normal, at least for my card. But now that we've seen this, we can kind of see, okay, so what can we use to improve so um i'm gonna recommend this so go to type in your card type in owners club um there's a bunch of different ones they have all the gpu bios collections and stuff um you can find your card you can also find what the power limit is so if you don't want to check on gpus you can check through here check through here go through here you can find whatever you want and sometimes especially on the older cards like the turing 2000 series you will see this You'll see all these different biases. I'm going to give you a little tip. If you have a non-A card, flash the 310 watt, but you're not going to get that much performance on a 28 Ti. If you have a A like I do, get the 380 watt if you can flash it. I've made another video explaining what NVIDIA did so that I can't flash this BIOS, but it's fine. Then we got the XOCs. Now, if you can flash the Galax BIOS, I'd probably just kind of recommend that. Just because this has everything you want, plus you can increase the core voltage. So this will overclock just like your normal one, but you won't have a power limit. Definitely would recommend this. Same thing with the 39s. I've gone through here. They only have one BIOS on here, and it's the 1,000 watt. One thing to keep in mind, though. So on the 3090s and the 3080s especially, if you have a 2x8 pin, don't flash a 3x8 pin. You probably won't get that much more performance or even at all. So keep to the 2x8 pin or the 3x8 pin. Make sure, especially, you don't flash a 3x8 pin to a 2x8 pin. That's just not going to end up good. The only thing I would actually say that is going to be worth the flash is if you're on a 2x8 pin 3090, flash the 3x8 pin 1,000 watt so that you can have no power limit and you don't have to worry about it. Um, one thing else I would want to say... If your car does not have access to resizable bar and you, you play games that actually use resizable bar or you want to try it out, try and find a card similar to yours that has access to resizable bar and then just flash that BIOS and try and see if resizable bar works. That could work. I know, for example, if you had a 2 8 pin, you could probably flash like the XC3 or the XC3s and then flash the uh, resizable bar BIOS on it and then you could be fine. But now that we've gotten at finding a BIOS, if you want me to go more in depth on a certain card, join the Discord down below. Someone will definitely try and help you find the best BIOS for your card. But let's go right into it. What will you need? You're going to need NV Flash. NV Flash will have everything. This is an awesome. Then you're also going to go to Tech Power Up. I'll link all this below. You're going to want to find your GPU. So NVIDIA. So for example, for me, um, I would recommend card vendor. I just go twenty. Um, I think I can search. Oh, never mind. Twenty eighty. Ti. Where is it? Twenty eighty Ti. Um, and then that's all you need. Um, I'm going to actually recommend just go to like, Galax. And if you can flash one of these two BIOSes to the two thousand watt. Or that one, if you can, obviously. 
I am not going to. I actually already have these BIOSes, so download MV Flash, and then put it recommend. I definitely recommend put it in your C drive. Just throw it in here, MV Flash.exe. Now we're just gonna want to open up Command Prompt as an administrator. Mine already opens up as a command, as a administrator, but just so you know, so cd dot dot, cd dot dot. This will put you right in your C drive. Now just type in NV Flash. Oh, C colon slash NV Flash. Wait, let me find it. Okay, so once you get to just C, you can do CD and then C colon slash and NV Flash or whatever you name the folder. And then the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to if you've not already you can do this save the file on gpu z hit yes this will stop the gpu driver don't worry it's just turning it so it can save the file yo monitor might go to like 60 hertz like mine did and screen's gonna flash it's saving the bios so as you see right here so for example i just might just put this on my desktop and call this backup 2080 ti save okay so close so now we can do nv flash dash dash protect off. This is going to remove the BIOS protections on your card. Um, yeah, your screen will go black. This is just going to do it so that you know a lot, so that it doesn't have the protections on it, so you can actually flash the BIOS. One thing I also recommend: go to go to MSI Afterburner. Just hit reset. Make sure nothing's running. So now we're going to do nv flash dash six and we're gonna flash whichever one you want so i'm actually gonna flash the base bios on this card so three so then i'm just gonna you can type the name or copy it like i did um actually i will type it so 320 watt xc ultra dot rom it's gonna be like it's going to turn off the driver make sure the driver's not running then it's gonna say you're intending to override the pci yes and update it Yes, hit Y twice, and I actually found the wrong BIOS. Interesting. I'll find the right BIOS and be right back. So I got the actual BIOS needed. So um, what you'll might see is so for example, once you hit Y, you'll see like storing update firmware, and you'll see a little progress bar. Once it gets to one hundred percent, your screen will go black, and it'll say update successful, and it'll show you the new ones. Um, once again, actually. Nvidia got us, and I downloaded the one with the new, with the older, the original PCB like changes, so that the ones that did, so mine has the XUSB thing, so I can't flash certain biases. That's what happened here. So now all that we need to do is we just need to restart our PC, and we can actually check once I've restarted if everything works fine. Back in desktop and. One thing you'll see is your screen might go black as soon as you boot up. That's just because it has to reinitialize the graphics driver. So we'll go to our we'll go to wherever you put GPUZ. Might be in your downloads folder, so that's fun. Um, we're just gonna go to Advance, Nvidia BIOS, and 338 watts, which is what this card is actually rated for. So now I can max this out. I know a thousand works. I believe ninety. Let's just max the fans out. Everything works good. Awesome. And I can actually change the fans now. That's crazy chat. So now everything's awesome with the graphics card. Hope this guide helped. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Follow me on my other stuff like TikTok. Yeah. See you guys later. Bye guys.